Holy crap. So the rumors were right. The post from Reset Era from King Zell was completely right. February 13th, tomorrow, we are going to have a Nintendo Direct. This is huge. People were clamoring for one and people were excited, begging for one. Unfortunately, I feel like we might be a little disappointed. So what do I mean by disappointed? It's just every time there's a Nintendo Direct, there's so much hype and expectation put on it. Like everybody expects E3 worthy announcements and news and just shocker after shocker. And then when it doesn't happen, people get upset. People then go on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, social media, and just flat out say, oh, Nintendo's dead, Nintendo sucks, the Direct was disappointing. And I get it. Everybody wants what they want made now. People want the Animal Crossing. People want the Metroid Prime 4. People want the, you know, Yoshi, if anybody really wants that. People want the Pikmin. People want, you know, the big heavy hit announcements. I'm guilty of it too. I want a new Zelda game every time there's a direct announced. And that's the problem. I think a lot of times we have such a high expectation for these Nintendo Directs, especially if there's a lot of time in between them, that we initially just set ourselves up for disappointment. And, and that's the unfortunate thing. I think usually the people that are begging the most, like, oh man, we need a Nintendo Direct now, it's been September, are always the first ones to come on social media and complain. I mean, I'm guilty of it too, so don't get it twisted. I honestly think that going into this, and I'm going to read a leak... A leak because it's not reliable it's something that I saw posted on Twitter that was from 4chan that has these ridiculously high expectations that I'm pretty sure not every single one of them is gonna hit and this sound this is too good to be true but the problem is Nintendo does not have anything ready which is why they have not had a Nintendo Direct they just got rid of Metroid Prime 4 they're restarting it from scratch and there's no other games that they have been working on that would be as big of a heavy hitter. So going into this, I really have zero expectations. And I really think other people should kind of slow down a little bit anytime that a Nintendo Direct is made. Because it's, it's a slow time for Nintendo because their first initial two years and their projected initial sales are finally done. I mean, for all we know, they probably didn't think the Switch was going to do this great. They got to get in touch with developers about bringing certain games over. Because a lot of these games that the Switch missed weren't developed with the Switch in mind. A lot of games are developed years in advance before the Switch was even thought of. And now to port certain titles, they got to make a specific Switch version and things like that. So games are going to take time. If I was going to guess anything, I would say this next Nintendo Direct would be fully first party titles maybe here or there we'll get a surprise third party port but don't get your hopes up it's gonna be old ports like from old games you know like how dark souls was ported over so here's here's what i saw on twitter this actually was when a couple days ago they dated the nintendo direct for february 14th but it's coming on the 13th put the info on screen let me take a sip of my honey green tea because i got a little little throat parch so here it goes. This person claims 45 minutes focused on Nintendo 3DS and Nintendo Switch. A source close and reliable gave me this info and he revealed to me what was going to contain this Nintendo Direct. Not everything and not exact titles. So anybody can go on a forum and just make up some shit or a comment section or tweet something just to get attention. But I'm going to read this just in case maybe this is a topic of discussion. Let's see how accurate this person was after tomorrow's Direct. So, Direct starts with a new Zelda game. So that would be big if it started Legend of Zelda, Untitled, a new 2D game coming to Nintendo Switch 2019. That actually is a dream for me. I want a 2D Nintendo Switch game for Zelda, but I want it... 2D as in Zelda 2, not 2D as in A Link to the Past or the original Legend of Zelda. I want 2D side-scrolling, maybe a combination of both. I think that would be really cool. But if they do announce a brand new Zelda game that is coming out in this year, that would be huge. 
they usually don't have two Zelda games on consoles unless it's at the end of the Switches or the Wii U's or the Wii's life cycle like Skyward Sword and Twilight Princess and Breath of the Wild were. Next up, they say Nintendo 3DS headlines. Of course, this person says nothing special. Nobody gives a shit about 3DS, so we'll move on from that. Metroid Prime Trilogy coming to Switch. That's the biggest prediction that people have been saying the past several weeks. I talked about it. That forum post from the user on Reset Era said that it is all but confirmed. Tomorrow we'll see how accurate this person was. And we'll see if this is actually the order that everything's revealed in. Again, I'm not thinking that every single thing. I don't I if we get a new Zelda and a Metroid Prime trilogy announcement, I think the direct is already worthy of saying it's success. But we're gonna keep reading on. Pigment Trilogy announced, containing all the DLC and short movies. That's something else I could see a lot of people enjoying me. I only played the first um, Pikmin just a little bit. I have more experience with Pikmin 3 on the Wii U. I'm dying for a Pikmin game, so that would be nice to get to experience them all at once. Nintendo Labo 4th Kit Toy Gun. I believe Labo will get a new kit revealed. A toy gun? We'll see about that. That would be neat. Maybe it will be like for like a Duck Hunt parlor style type of game. That would be really, really cool. Super Mario Maker 2. This is my other pipe dream. I made a video about this the other day when Nintendo said that there is an unannounced title that will delight everybody. I believe Mario Maker 2 would be exactly that title. I was a big fan of Mario Maker and I think we're going to see it. Now they're also predicted Netflix will be available tomorrow immediately after the Nintendo Direct. That would be huge. I know a lot of people have a lot of devices that already have Netflix on them so they can give a fuck less but to have more apps that are besides video games would be a huge growth and step in the right direction for Nintendo. We also have Splatoon 2's final update, which it's amazing that they're still carrying over updates for Splatoon 2. Town, summer 2019. I remember seeing this. This is that RPG game that was kind of in, in tentative titled Town. Maybe we'll get an update on that very likely. Then we got the Fire Emblem Three Houses. We just saw a teaser for that last time during E3 as well and the Nintendo Direct or both or one or the other. I don't know, but we just saw a teaser last time. Sure, we'll see an update on that. Luigi's Mansion 3, another game that we just saw a teaser for. To get an official update, maybe a release date, would be pretty nice. Uh, this is predicted in July for that game. They're predicting Super Nintendo games will be available, and that was something that I touched on a while back on my videos. I, I talked about how there was code found in the games and uh, the Nintendo Switch Online service. So that will be a huge step. I don't think NES titles alone being drip fed are enough of an incentive for me personally to have the Switch Online service. We also have Box Boy coming out. I have no idea what that's gonna be, but the next one, Final Fantasy VII, I do believe this one will be available considering that the commercial that aired during the Super Bowl and Nintendo also put on their YouTube channel had a guy playing Final Fantasy VII on an airplane that would be a big release. People love that game. It's one of my favorites. Then we got Pokemon Direct announced by Ishihara next week. So they're saying that a Pokemon Direct will be revealed for next week. So if that's two Directs in a row, that's pretty big news. I know a lot of people are anticipating an update in regards to the next Pokemon game that's coming out on console. Then we have Animal Crossing update. Of course, that's going to be coming. That was a huge reveal last time. Then we have Kingdom Hearts. 1.5, 2.5, and 2.8. Lots of one point and two points being announced for May in 2019. Part three just came out, so that would be kind of big news. I mean, they're releasing like all the Final Fantasies on the Switch. Why not release some of the Kingdom Heart games? Then we got Smash Brothers Ultimate, new modes, and a Joker first look. So Joker from Persona 5 has been announced as DLC. This one, I believe, is the most believable. We'll probably get some Amiibo announcements and we'll see what that goes. And then this one was teased the other day with the shield from Dragon Quest. Erdrick from Dragon Quest will be announced as a character. They're predicting that. I believe in that one. And then Spyro Reunited Trilogy being released in August. I touched base on this earlier today with a video about GameStop Germany accidentally leaking this on their website. So I believe that one. Many more announcements third party indie unexpected game and then they're predicting that the direct will end with pikmin 4 where we see a big open world and it'll be released 2019 so that in a perfect world 
if they got 100% of that, this would be bigger than E3. And I highly think that this is unlikely. It's highly unlikely that we're going to see a majority of this. Now, I'm going to go over what I think, just to recap. I do believe we will see Metroid Prime Trilogy released. I do believe that we will get Netflix, a new Labo kit, Splatoon update, an update on Town, an update on Luigi Mansion, an update on Final Fantasy VII, something about Pokemon, something about Animal Crossing, Smash Brothers update with Erdrick and Joker, and new modes being announced and some Amiibos, and then some talk about Spyro. That's honestly what I think. I don't see Super Mario Maker 2 being announced, but if it is, that would be big, and Zelda definitely would be big. So guys, taking a look at this, I'm highly skeptical. What do you guys think? Comment down below. Let me know if you think that there's some things more likely. Maybe there's some stuff left out that you think is going to actually happen. Comment down below. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and throw a subscription and a like and all that good jazz. And as always, guys, thanks for all the support through the years and watching the videos. I really appreciate it. Now let me drink some more of my honey green tea. Yours truly will be at the SoCal Retro Gaming Expo February 23rd and 24th in Pasadena, California at the Pasadena Convention Center. There will be a free play console area, an arcade area, retro gaming tournaments, and some giveaways, prizes, photo ops, meet and greets, 8-Bit Eric t-shirts will be on sale. You can save 10% on your tickets, any ticket, using code 8-Bit Eric. Be there or be square, bitch.